Okay, so this first sign here was $1 from Habitat for Humanity. And you can see I laid out those like wooden beads and wood flowers and stuff. And I was like trying to figure out what I wanted to do with it. Cleaned it up real good and then started painting it. Um, I used my Dixie Bow cotton white paint. And then I just used a Dollar Tree brush to put a couple coats on this real quick. And um, this was actually kind of hard to paint because it was it's plastic and clear and it was weird. But I got it. I ended up getting it all painted up. Okay, and then I took some of my brown antique wax and this little tiny paintbrush and I went in in these little cracks and decided to, you know, darken them up with that and make them look, make them stand out more because pure white, you couldn't see them really. So I do that with all the cracks. And then I just went back over with my white and my chip brush and just kind of blended those in a little so they weren't super, like they didn't stand out and they didn't look super, um, you know, stark like brown. So anyway, get, get that all blended up. Okay, and then here I started to take some black with my little tiny paintbrush and go in the lines because I just didn't love the way they looked brown. And I felt like they needed something. So anyway, but the paint was like kind of annoying. So I went ahead and took this black Sharpie paint chalk marker thing that I had on hand. And I went through and did the lines with that. And I ended up liking this a lot better. Okay, and then I take my little chip brush and do the, all the edges and corners and everything like the basically the whole frame with the brown wax and i think i take some black too yeah and just kind of get this distressed looking yeah that's all i do i mean i just dry brush it on there till i get it how i like it kind of blend it back and forth use some white some brown some black you know till i get it how i wanted it Also just highlighted that inner frame with the brown and black wax too okay and then I laid back laid my stuff all back out onto the picture frame so I could see how I wanted to lay it out before I hot glued it on okay so yeah I got them all laid out then I took my hot glue gun and just glued them all into place out the flowers again and placed them where I wanted them and hot glued them on super simple and then I took my white paint and just kind of dry brushed over the the wood beads I didn't get like a full coverage on them but I got them pretty much painted white and then distressed looking um initially when I started to redo this I thought well I'll just put a word in the middle and make it like a coffee bar sign or something but then like I don't always love to have like words with or signs with words you know because there's a lot of that and anyway so I this is what I ended up coming up with and I feel like it just gives off like good vintage vibes and here's the final look at it and how I styled it I think it turned out super cute and there's a peek at the next project right there also Um, anyway, moving on to this candlestick. This was $3 at Habitat for Humanity as well. So I go ahead and start painting it with white cotton Dixie Bow paint. And it's, um, it's fine. You can paint over that metal. It'll be fine on there. If you really, really want to be 100% sure that it'll stick, you should use like a primer. Like, like Dixie Bow, for example, has slick stick primer. Um, and that will help hold that on there but in my experience is it'll hold on fine and if it chips off a little bit that's fine with me because that's kind of the look i'm going for here so anyway that's all i do one i think i did one really good coat on the candlestick and then i zoomed in closer here because i wanted to show you I, I wanted to be really precise with my distressing on this 
um, I wanted to get the the brown wax down in the groove in the grooves and I wanted to be well like on the bottom um, you can't use sandpaper really on the metal part because then you're just gonna have all that gold coming through so like I said I wanted to be precise down here and I wanted to get the black wax in the little crevices and then I wanted to like use my black wax just I didn't want to be like real crazy with it I wanted it to be subtle but I wanted it to be obviously distressed so I don't know that doesn't make any sense but but if you just watch what I do here I, I leave in most of the details because I like I said I wanted to be really precise but like on the bottom I had to use wax and then you'll see in a minute up on the wooden I use my sandpaper to distress it on that part on the wooden part so yeah anyway I just keep going back and forth here with the brown wax sorry I was saying black wax but it's brown wax and all of these things um, like the brown wax and the paint I link everything in my description box that way if you're um, needing these if you want these like basically the exact products they're linked so okay so like i said here i took sandpaper and when i sand stuff like this i like to go both ways so what i mean like here you see i'm going horizontal horizontally yeah and then i go back through and go like vertically like that so that it doesn't look like little you know like this is a cow or something and it just has black circle spots so anyway that's why i do it like that and then i also took some brown wax and just went back over it too and then if i got it on too thick like here i took my white and went back over that so yeah like i don't know i was just going with a i was going for a precise look on this and i think i achieved it so it turned out really cute and then like here's a look at how it turned out beside everything else and you can see the distressing up closer a little bit and i think it just looks really cute so yeah and of course today's video is part of me and savannah's thrift flip thursday challenge where we take items from the thrift store and flip them preferably items that cost under ten dollars and this month's co-host is camaro with dying to diy if you haven't if you don't already follow her and subscribe to her channel, definitely check her out. But I'm sure you already do because she's amazing. Um, okay, and then we're going to go right into this last craft. This is my absolute favorite that I did. Or I'm calling it a craft, but DIY, thrift flip, whatever. Um, this is my favorite one. I got this thing actually for free at a my local paint store. They sell, that sells paint. They were having like a little yard sale. And this was one of the things that I saw that I wanted that day and I got a pile of stuff so they just threw this in my total so I don't know actually technically how much I you know would have spent on it but it was basically free maybe like you could say three dollars or something so anyway I just took um I, I was gonna stain this but I didn't want to get out my stain because I'm pregnant and I just don't want to smell it and I didn't want to deal with the stain. So I used this wax, this antique wax, which basically gives the same effect as stain. Um, this has a dark look to it. So anyway, I don't show the whole process here because this would be boring. But I take it and cover it as best I can. I don't worry about full coverage also because I'm going to paint this white and then distress it so that, so that the brown comes through. Um, but then as you'll see here, I didn't love how light the brown was. So I took some black, just apple barrel paint. Uh, acrylic paint and I want a baby wipe and I just went through and wiped some of the the black on and kind of blended it in with the brown um so it just gave it a little bit of a darker overall stained look okay and I think you get the gist of what I'm doing here I just kind of went back and forth with a baby wipe and a chip brush and just got this on here as best as I could. But like I said, I didn't worry about full coverage. So that's all I do here. And then I move on to this wax. This is Dixie Bell's wax. And I you can do anything. Like you could use like petroleum jelly or um, like a like an, um, Waverly wax probably would work fine too. Um, but anyway, I just had this on hand. So I took it with a little brush there and just randomly applied it wherever... Sorry, I was about to yawn there, but anyway, you, I just take it and randomly apply it and like, I didn't want it all the way covered in every spot because this is going to act as a barrier for when I go in with my paint. So I actually did take my blow dryer and dry that a little bit, but I didn't care. I didn't mind if it was a little bit wet because 
in the end here you'll see like when you sand it down i think it being wet it helps it distress a little bit more so anyway i only do one coat of this dixie bell this is dixie bell um buttercream actually instead of cotton I didn't, i'm not using cotton on this one anyway and i do one really good and then i go in with sandpaper but i'll let you watch here for a second what i'm doing good coat and then I take my sandpaper and this is 60 grit sandpaper and I just go along this um just go along it sand it up make it I wanted this to look super distressed so that's also why I'm doing this look like where all that paint just came off that's exactly what I wanted but I wanted it to look kind of like chippy um you know more of like a milk paint look milk paint provides that like really chippy look whereas this well, this is chalk paint and wax, so it gives you more of like a, I'd call it distressed, um, just, just plain distressed instead of chippy. Um, but I was trying to achieve a sort of chippy look, which I think I kind of get that here. And I'll show you here in a second, like what I do, instead of sanding all in one direction, I sand it different, like I go vertically and then horizontally like I did on that candlestick. Because that's what makes it look like you didn't just sand it with a piece of sandpaper straight across it. You go back and forth and it gives you kind of more of like a chippy look, I think. That's just personally what I do. Um, I may be wrong, but that I like the look. I end up, like when I get done, I always end up really liking the look. So, that is just what I do. But I'll let you watch the rest of this. And like I said here in a minute, I show where I take the sandpaper and go both ways on some closer up spots. Oh, and this was not a hundred percent dry it was pretty much all the way dry because I used my um, blow dryer to dry it but as you can see like on my sandpaper you can see that that paint is like getting all clogged up on that piece of sandpaper and I had to end up switching my sandpaper out because of that so and I think that also helps you get this more of a chippy look so here I'm just showing up close close up spots like right there of where it looked like I just took the sandpaper straight across uh, you know the the way I went and then I so I went the other way with it this time So if I went like side to side The initially then I go up and down the second time if that makes sense vertically and horizontally I just go both and right there. I even kind of went in circles. So Yeah, and then here's a look at how it turned out in my dining room. I hung it like this This is not initially how I wanted to hang it. I wanted to hang it up the other way But my husband wasn't home and I really wanted to get the pictures <laughs> Staged of it and I do kind of like it here. So so I might just leave it here. And as I mentioned earlier, today's video was part of the thrift flip challenge. So make sure you go to my description box and check out the other people who have sent their videos into the playlist and you'll find lots of thrift flips and awesome things. So thank you all so much for watching.